Thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Permafrost 240 all-in-one water cooler from Silverstone. Silverstone provided this cooler to me for review. I'll be testing it on my Ryzen 5600X in both stock and overclocked configurations, as well as taking a look at the overall build quality. The PF240 is an ARGB all-in-one water cooler that features high-powered fans with an included RGB controller. In addition to the ARGB fans, the pump block on the PF240 also has an ARGB lighting element. There's an included remote, but the system is compatible with most motherboards and software control solution. The included fans are the Silverstone Airblazer 120 models, which boast a maximum airflow of 94 CFM and a static pressure of 3.53 millimeters to H2O at maximum RPM. The RPM range for this fan starts at 600 RPM and goes all the way up to 2200 RPM. The rated noise scales from about 7.4 dBA at 600 RPM up to 35.6 dBA at maximum speed. These fans are PWM controlled. The Airblazer 120 model features ribbed edges on the fan blades which help maximize airflow and pressure. The pump unit itself has a maximum rated speed of 34 rpm at about 0.39 amp. The pump is a three-phase six-pole design that Silverstone says allows for quieter operation and better energy efficiency. The included tubing measures in at about 400 millimeters or about 1.3 feet long. 400 millimeters worth of tubing length for a 240 millimeter sized rad is a pretty good combination which should allow for maximum case compatibility. The pump and the block combo comes with a two-side mounting method using the AMD retention clips. As far as pricing goes, the PF240 comes in at a pretty competitive option for the 240mm AIO market and the high-end air cooling market. Let's take a look at the performance and build quality of the cooler. We'll start off stress testing with a 30 minute run of ASUS RealBend. At the end of the stress test, the average temperature across the cores was 60.6 C. Next up, A to 64. In this test, I ran the CPU stress tests, and at the end of the test, the cores averaged about 63.9 C. Lastly, we're gonna take a look at Prime95. We're going to run the smallest FFT test. It's a bit unrealistic, and you're probably never gonna run into this kind of power and heat workload, but I do run it just to see what the cooler is capable of. At the 30 minute mark, the average of the core temperatures averaged about 61 C. Since there was a decent amount of headroom left temperature wise, I set my manual overclock up and re-ran Prime95 at 1.3 volts and 4.7 gigahertz. After 30 minutes, the cores averaged about 91 to 92 and a half C. This does seem a little high, but like I said, the Prime95 testing is a little bit unrealistic and it's really the worst absolute case. You'll almost never run into this kind of power and heat load when normally using the PC. Overall, I thought the cooling performance across the stress tests was actually quite good. In terms of build quality, I found the PF240 to be well built and straightforward to install. This is definitely a good option if you're going to get an AIO with an addressable RGB fan set. The cables are a bit long, but that does allow for optimum routing inside of the case. Some people like that, some people don't. I prefer longer cables personally. Considering the temperatures, the air RGB functionality and where this cooler works in in the market in terms of price, this AIO is packing a huge cooling punch for most of the gaming systems out there. If you're looking for an ARGB water cooler, this is definitely one that I would take a look at. Check the description below for links to the PF240 and the components in this gaming PC build. If you like this one, hit that thumbs up button and then get subscribed to the channel. And if you want more component reviews and PC builds, don't forget to hit the bell icon so YouTube actually notifies you when new videos land on the channel. 